hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of Oni of ife allegedly information reaching us right now is that the king's father have won his son again concerning his actions or his plans rather towards prince tadeni kawo and queen naomi record that we have been hearing that this Oni's father have been advising him the right way but because he doesn't heed to his father's advice that's why he ends up messing up every situation of bringing queen naomi back and marrying more women okay oh this last last we can't hear say the king wants to take away prince tadene kawo from queen naomi you know uh, where I saw this video, some people were saying that uh, maybe he wants to use that strategy now to see if Queen Naomi will return back to the palace, uh, even when the Oloris are still there. Because from the look of things, the Oloris are not preparing to go as the king instructed them. That is, if at all the king have told them to move, oh, mm -hmm, because the king is supposed to be a king he's supposed to do what makes him king by giving orders if he doesn't want the honoris around but i believe he needs them around he wants them around and that is why uh, we are where we are today because you can not tell me that if he is serious about it and give an order that they are going to flaunt his orders no i don't believe so unless uh, uh, you are trying to say or they are trying to say that uh, what some people are insinuating because a lot of people have been insinuating that the uh, Oloris, the women are manipulating the king unless on that note but if not they don't have any right whatsoever to violate or to neglect king's order unless the king did not uh, or is not serious with his orders again Another thing that can make them to behave the way they are behaving is because when the king when the king's words is not his bond, that is why you see people playing around with his commands because they know that he did not mean it. If it is a king who say I will do this and he must do that, you find out that he cannot say something and you play with it because he must make sure that he do it. That's the situation here. So, on all this, he is trying to have Queen Naomi and have other ladies. He forgot that you cannot have your eat your cake and still have it. Mm -hmm. So, as the thing is going on the way it is going on now, Queen Naomi have refused to return to that palace with those women there. The king have refused to take action to see that the women leave. The women too are not ready to leave, except just a few of them, you know. So with all these dramas, he is not ready to let Queen Naomi go too, which is the most important thing here, because Queen Naomi is under his bondage, if you ask me. Yes, I don't know how you see it, but that is the way I see it. And the king's father, being a loving father, who understands what it means for a daughter to be happy, and to be happily married he have told his son severally to release queen naomi so that she will live a better life outside the palace because from the look of things all that he promised queen naomi he did not keep any of that so instead of keeping queen naomi there because of the so-called uh, traditional covenant and all of that it is better to let her go queen naomi too have insisted that she cannot come back to that palace the way it is. So with all these dramas, this person is not ready to go. let go. This person is not ready to let go. So the king now maybe thinks that since Prince Tade Nikawa is involved, that he might use Prince Tade Nikawa to bring Kwenomi back to the palace. But he doesn't know that that is a childish play. That is just a nonsense game. So according to what we are hearing allegedly, we heard that his father have warned him to stop that game 
that it is not going to end well. That doing that might even estrange Queen Naomi and Tadenikawu far from him the more. That the privilege that he is having to go and meet them at will now, that it, if it gets to court, that he might not have such opportunity again. So the thing is that uh, the king, is, the king's father, is not in support of his son's attitude towards Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenikawo. And with this uh, latest development of taking away Prince Tadenikawo away from the mother, a toddler like that, a, just a com a, a minor. I don't know if this king is reasoning very well, or, or if those people that are advising him, they really mean well for him. And the funny thing about this whole thing is that you see all those end time Oloris in that palace. They are not going to take care of Tadenikawo. Of course, they are not going to take care of him. And I don't even think there's anything in this life that will make Queen Naomi release Tade to them. So the only thing he's going to achieve in this game is just a name it. So that's what they said. The father have told him, stop this game that you are playing. After all, you are the cause of all these things. All the words that you said to Queen Naomi, never keep any of them. That as a king, your word is supposed to be your bond. But no, the reverse is the case here. And after everything, you are looking for whom to blame. That you are, the, you are to be blamed for all these things that happened in your marriage. And that is because you don't listen to your father's advice. And now the father is advising again. And if he listens... It will be good for him. But if you think he can do it his own way, a time will come when he will start regretting again. So the king's father have made it clear to him and to everybody who cares to listen that he is not in support of uh, the king going for uh, going for Tade Nikawo at this age. That he should let the mother raise that the, the mother is capable enough to do that. Both financially or both morally and otherwise so because from what we are hearing we heard that some people have told the king that uh, mm, Naomi might uh, raise Tade in a way that he will forget you tomorrow and he will not you know and all of that these are people that want to brainwash the king to put confusion in his life and in his marriage and I wonder why he is listening to such people does it mean that he cannot reason on his own I don't just know so my people oh, that is the gist at the moment too. Mm -hmm. Always bear in mind that what we share here is alleged information. I do not live in the palace. Always know that, okay? And thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and share it and say your opinion on the comment section. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. If you're yet to subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget I still love you. Bye for now.